Paul. Call me Gorg. Okay, Gorg, look, it's not about the hit points right now. I'm just trying to work on my swordsmanship. Fireball. I totally owe OC, dude. Sorry, look, this Gmail doesn't Fireball. cover all of me. Hey! Gandalf, nice dress. Welcome to episode three of Two-Headed Podcast. Last time we talked about puppets. We called it Puppet Palooza. It was all about various types of puppets from childhood up to now and kind of how we like them and what ones are scary and so on and so forth. So I thought uh, at the beginning of this episode uh, with me and my brother John that we would um, kind of throw it out and uh, have a little Puppet Palooza of our own here. Uh, first, I do want to make sure and mention uh, contact information so if people can get a hold of us or check out the podcast. Um, we are at twoheadedpodcast.blogspot.com. Uh, we also do link it up regularly from our Facebook pages, and you can either go to Bruce Perky, John Perky, or Jens Lund, uh, and you can find that. Or you can contact me at Bruce Perky at Comcast.net. That's B R U C E. P-U-R-K-E-Y at Comcast.net. So Samara has her puppets right there. She's mentioning. We started out um, the podcast with the very first subject, and that was um, puppets that we loved or puppets that really had an impact on our childhood uh, in more of a good way and uh, just kind of seeing what, what you remembered and what kind of and why it and how it impacted. Well, there's a, there's a, there's a, a puppet that I, I say would have a extreme extreme influence on on me because I, I I thought about it and uh, an animal playing drums I remember I remember being really inspired by by animal um, like wanting to I was probably the the first drummer that I that I really was really inspired by and then there was the one time when uh oh the famous a famous jazz drummer was on the Muppet Show and he was like playing. His drumsticks all around. What was it? What's his name? Um, you know, fame, Buddy Buddy Rich. Buddy Rich was on the Muppet. I was gonna say, yeah, I was thinking and, it might have been Buddy Rich, but I couldn't remember. Yeah, so I was I was probably you know I was pretty pretty young, and and I, I would say that uh, watching Buddy Rich on the Muppet Show, and then already like something like crazy about. Uh, about I mean just just you know drumming in 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 general in general but 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 I think Animal just being this crazy drummer and I I, I kind of like that. Say Kermit, I understand for the show's finale you want me to do some kind of a drum battle. Oh yeah, I just love drum battles. Okay, who do I battle? The other guy, you know, the one that loses. <laughs> uh, animal. Animal. That's really his name. Mm. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, and he was like rock and roll drummer, you know, and that's like nutty yeah. and crazy. And I mean, obviously, that was led led right into us into rock and stuff. So, I mean, that totally would be. I could imagine like there was probably a lot of rock drummers that got inspired by by Animal. Anything else from your childhood, like that, like puppets you really liked, or if not, then go into maybe puppets that like you thought were really freaky or scary, either from movies or TV. Or well, I think I think one of the the scariest. Puppet still, it's a it, it's a pretty scary ep- episode. Is the Twilight Zone episode with um, I want to say his name was Willie or something like that, and he was like the Charlie Charlie McCarthy puppet, and he you know he was actually like he was he was alive. Remember that? Oh, that, that puppet? And, um, I had totally forgotten and he, about that. And he and he would he would control the the the, ven- the ventriloquist, and he'd make him like break into. You know, breaking like a 
I think an antique store. I don't know. Just a bunch of like really mean things. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Come over here, honey. I know you think on him. You're a hip little kid. I like you. I knew you talked. I knew it. I want to ask you something. You're not happy living here with your crummy aunt, are you? That's a stupid question. You'd probably like to run away from this flea trap, wouldn't you? I sure would. Okay. It's you and me, kid. I forget his na- name. Willie. That that could be right. Something who was like the that. Who was the star in that? Or did, was it a star in that one? Like, oh, yeah. I think it was. I don't remember exactly. I think it was, actually, somebody that was kind of well-known. I thought I remembered one with Telly Savalas, but I don't know if that was the one. No, nah, I, don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll definitely go look for that. If, and if I can find it, I'll, I'll... I've been, like, in the one I'm doing with Jans, I've been putting lots of clips in. So when you talk about something, like a little clip of it, just a, <gasps> a really short one, but, you know. And I, I, you know, I really have to say that one of... Uh, 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 a puppet that I was always very um, disappointed with, and always, you know, I, I think the Lamb Chop puppet was very, always very disappointing and, like, not very... She wasn't ever very funny. You remember? Yeah, Lamb Chop. Uh, yeah, and, and it's just too, it's just too fake. It's just like. Sorry, I was choking well, on my I mean, coffee. You know, like she was just a always, sock puppet with like a wig on top of it, right? Yeah, yeah, but you'd you'd always see what's her what's her face talking. Oh know? yeah, that's true. She didn't even get hidden. Yeah, and it was just I don't know. I don't she know, just like sat right there with the puppet and just moved her mouth, if I remember correctly. Like I think she kind of hid her mouth, but not very much. Was it Sherry, you know, I mean, Sherry Lewis? I, you can you know more than I do. I think her name I was know. Sherry Lewis because I remember always thinking that at, I was confused when I was really little and I thought it was like Jerry Lewis, but I was like, wait a second, Jerry Lewis is that guy, and this lady's Jerry Lewis, and then I figured out I think that it was Sherry Lewis, kind of like the song Wendy, and I for a long time you think it's Wendy. Yeah, but even even as a little kid, I didn't like it. You know, it's just like. Yeah, I, I think I personally agree with you. That's one of the kids' puppets that didn't really do it for me. I didn't. I never connected with it. I was kind of just like, that's a sock. I could do that. <laughs> At least Muppets, sometimes Muppets would almost kind of look like socks, but they had so much other stuff that they, it's like you could at least as a kid, you'd be like, well, they at least put some eyes on that, thing, you know, lamb chop. Uh, not really scary, but just kind of not one that you really liked or kind of annoyed you maybe. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any puppets that you thought were just awesome, like really used well in any kind of movies that you can come up with or TV shows other than like obviously you mentioned Willie and you mentioned uh, Animal. I, you know, not not right offhand. Yeah, I, I I thought about it a little bit, but that's okay. We didn't expect know. to do a whole show on puppets with you necessarily, but I definitely want to get your input. Unfortunately, it's going to be like the last one to some degree. Um, you listen back and you'll hear us talking, and you'll probably get inspired by some puppets. You'll be like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot about that puppet. But Jens did a lot of research. There's he didn't leave very many puppets unturned, so he pretty much hit about every puppet I could think of and ec- extra. On top of that, well, you said to me when I was talking to you before that you definitely had some things that you wanted to bring to this to, to talk about, and I'm curious to hear what those things might be. Oh, um, just uh, recently, I don't know how recent exactly, but in the last few months, this is like uh, I'm just gonna I'm not gonna go into this story very very much. I don't really know a whole lot of detail about it, but um, I had I had seen a film called American Drug War one of the main this is a a while ago but one of the main uh, people in it was uh, Freeway Ricky Ross do you know who he is? Freeway Ricky Ross I don't tell me and I'll tell you if I know who he is because it doesn't strike a bell off the first listen. Okay well I'm going to read off off of Wikipedia to kind of of fill you in a little bit more Um, but anyway so just recently he was released from, from prison Freeway Ricky Ross was a drug trafficker best known for the drug empire that he presided over in Los Angeles in the early 1980s. In 19, let's see, in 1996, Ross was sentenced to, to life imprisonment after being convicted of trying to purchase more than 100 kilograms of cocaine from a federal agent. Ross became the subject of controversy later that year when a series of articles by journalist Gary Webb 
um, in the San Jose Mercury News brought to light a connection between one of Ross's cocaine sources, Danilo Brandon, and the C 